Hello, and welcome to another episode of Val's Air Guns. Today, we're doing velocity testing on the Umarex Complete PCP Air Rifle with Nitro Air. Let's go ahead and get started. Nine forty. Uh, that's as fun as a mid bar lock. Error. But that was a shot. Nine forty. Okay, this is Al from the future. I went ahead and made a little chart for us, um, looking at the first um, nine shots here. And what we see is this particular gun shoots consistently hot. Um, this gun shot over the course of this 27 foot-pounds for or above for its first 31 shots. Um, so yeah, the gun does shoot a little hotter than advertised, or actually 10 to 15 percent um, hotter than advertised, hitting sometimes 28 and a half foot pounds. Um, and that was consistent throughout the cartridge. Now, as a result, I would say we get about 35 really good shots in the string, and then we start to drop off. So whether or not I would call this particular gun 45 shots out of the cartridge, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you um, see the rest of the shot string here as it goes out. And I've also made a graph that um, you can look at so you can kind of see where the sweet spot is for those first 30 shots or so. Um, I personally would rather have it shoot stronger or harder for my first, well, 30 shots certainly, and get a few less shots out of my uh, cartridge. Um, as I said, I'm not using this for target shooting or bullseye shooting. If I use this gun, it'll be for primarily hunting, um, things where I needed more power than I have out of my other guns. And, you know, I'll take that 27, 28 and a half foot pounds um, to do the things I need to do on small game. And that would mainly be rabbits, squirrels, or, or varmints. So anyway, I'll get back to the um, video here, but I just wanted to go ahead and put this in. Nine 
This would be shots 31 through 40. Firing. I'm sorry. Okay, we got to count how many shots that was because we were not feeding. And I think I took about four shots. So let me go ahead and load up that magazine and we will continue. Uh, that was goofy. Thought I had that full. Sorry, guys. Okay, I had a couple of um, misfires there when I had a blank magazine or empty magazine in there. So we will count those to make sure that they get included as far as shots. But now I have a full magazine. So let's go ahead and uh, continue our velocity testing. Seven thirty. Seven fourteen. 
Okay, when we're looking at this data, I think it's important to remember we're looking at a sample size of one. I have no way of telling if this particular uh, air gun is representative of the model overall or if this is a one-off. Also, this is very early in this gun's life. Um, it's had one cartridge through it before this, so I have no idea if these numbers will settle down as the gun gets some age on it. Um, this is the first time I've owned a regulated gun, so I also, uh, it's my first experience with regulators, very clearly this gun is shooting uh, high. It's shooting hot. It actually fired 31 shots over 27.3 um, foot-pounds of, of energy. And, you know, they're saying it's a 25-foot-pound gun. So, clearly, it's firing um, hotter than expected. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with pellet weight. I'm using a 14.53 grain pellet uh, to deliver those numbers. But at the same time, we came in under the 45 shots, in my mind, um, that, that this gun was said to get out of each cartridge. Now, the funny part is most tuners, if this came in exactly at velocity and 45 counts, uh, the thing most people would do is try and increase the velocity without a concern <laughs> for the um, shot count. Uh, since uh, right now it's coming in under the um, announced uh, shot count, um, were this representative of the guns overall, I suspect some people may have some heartburn. Now, because I had a couple of blank shots, I don't know exactly where it dropped off. Um, from this one, you know, count 35 or shot 35 was still delivering 25 foot-pounds of energy. Um, but it was right in the area of 900 feet per second and starting to get into the 800s. So, um, you know, will people find this acceptable? I don't know. Um, personally, uh, my thoughts are I'd like to keep shooting it and see if these numbers change at all, but very much would appreciate feedback from those of you, particularly the members who I know have had a lot of experience here. Um, yeah, feedback. Uh, do regulators um, change at all over a time? What happened? Did this one get set wrong out of the factory and it'll always shoot hot? which I, I'm not saying that um, I'm against. I suspect if I took it back to the vendor or to Umarex and said, hey, it's, it's you know, not performing to spec, uh, they quite probably would um, switch it for me. But that's not really something I'm interested in personally. I would rather, in my air gun battery, this is my heavy hitter to go hunting with if I want to go rabbit hunting or something like that. Um, it'll be done in the fall, and frankly, I will take the extra power and the fewer shots because I'm not going to spend many shots hunting, and I'm going to set out with a new cartridge. Um, you know, I would take the trade-off personally. So, go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.